everyone, and welcome to The Right Perspective. Today, we're going to recap and review Brigadoon, the 1954 musical film starring Gene Kelly, Dan Johnson, and Sid Charisse. This film, based on the Tony Award-winning musical of the same name, was nominated for three Academy Awards for sound, costume, set, and set decoration. And it won a Golden Globe for Best Cinematography Color. For some, these details would be enough to consider this movie a classic. But today, we will determine whether it is a classic from the right perspective. We'll do a recap, discuss the movie, and then we'll take a vote using a voting symbol that we will pick especially for this discussion. But we got to start with intros. Kick us off, bro. Hi, I'm Aubrey Wright. I'm the oldest. I'm Janiya Wright. I'm the middle. Hello, I'm Brittany Wright. <laughs> oh, God. Hi. Hi, I'm Brittany Wright, and I'm the youngest. I was just still laughing in my head about the color being an award. I know. Was that? Oh, yeah. There was colors. It's just so funny to me. But it's because it's like 2022 and it's like it should be in color. But I'm thinking like, well, back in the day, that was a thing, you know? So anyway, and I was like, this, but this movie was really ashy. So that's another thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> this ashy movie was getting awards for color. I was like, are what? you kidding me? Those cheeks <laughs> were hella rosy. No. Those cheeks were rosy to the Z. This okay. We needed lotion. <laughs> This musical horror movie, this musical, <laughs> this musical horror drama. That's what this was. It was like a musical drama. It was a musical horror drama. <laughs> the movie did go left at a couple of points. <laughs> All the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a movie from Scotland set in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> to me, to me, to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. We haven't done the Janai hasn't done the the what is it? The summary. But this, I was just listen, when I tell you I was lit in my watching this in my room, cracking up, like this is it has to be a comedy. <laughs> <'Cause> I, <was laughs> just, I, I wonder were you laughing with it or at it? Listen, all the things were happening. <laughs> oh. I have one symbol to recommend you all, one voting symbol, and I recommend that we use a bridge, okay? Now, the reason a bridge makes sense is that there was a footbridge right in the forest, right when our, our two, two of our main characters were lost, wandering through the forest in Scotland, and then they see this random footbridge to nowhere, and then all of a sudden, a city appears out of the mist. And it was that little footbridge was their actual path to Brigadoon, to, to the city under a spell. The other thing about a bridge is that it's just so full of general symbolism, right? Mm. When you're thinking about a bridge, a bridge is a channel between two, it could be a channel between two people, right? It could be a channel between two different phases of life. Right. Mm. And we see now it's really, it's and it can protect you from a troll. And it can protect you from a troll. That's a really <laughs> solid point. <laughs> Thanks, sis. <laughs> you know, that's what you do at work. No matter what people say, you're like, oh my gosh, thank you for that. That's so good. That's really that's adding so value good. to the specific <laughs> conversation that we're having. Thank you for, thank you for that feedback. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh, it's so great when we all can just show up as our true selves, our complete whole selves. So, so yeah. this movie is about love. And I think that is a bridge. Can Again, it can symbolize that human connection. And it's also about people on a journey, right? And so, in some cases, it is a journey through time and space. And in some cases, it's an emotional journey. You know, in the case of our our um our male mm. lead he goes he goes from like a shallow conceptualization of love to to something that's much more deep so i propose our voting symbol b a bridge nice well well i'm on board yes. i'm on board with the bridge yes <laughs> yeah i'm on board oh. only thing i had in my head was a picture of a little picture of a little town or maybe a calendar because a century this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 
it's absurd. It's absurd. <laughs> well, you saying it's absurd is a perfect segue to the recap. Uh, but but the first thing we have to clarify for our new listeners the reason we pick a voting symbol is because the only way that a movie can actually be considered a classic from the right perspective is if we have a unanimous it has to be we all have to be in alignment about it okay and so in order for this movie to be considered a classic from the right perspective Brigadoon will need to receive not one not two but three Bridges. That is the only way that this movie will be considered a classic. And now it is time for, again, segue to the absurd. It is time for for the recap. We do a spoiler-filled recap if you're new to our podcast because our content is old, generally speaking. And some people haven't seen it in a while or they haven't seen it at all and they want to enjoy the podcast. And so we do a recap at the top. So you'll be able to Uh, participate and enjoy the conversation Mm -hmm. all right so brief recap of brigadoon the movie about cheating (laughs) that could be the subtitle (laughs) for so many movies (laughs) so brigadoon while on a hunting trip in scotland two americans Tommy Albright, played by Gene Kelly, and Jeff Douglas, played by Van Johnson, get lost in the woods and stumble across a village that's not on their map. And it's called Brigadoon. Tommy and Jeff are businessmen. We get a sense that Tommy is more successful, is is the more successful of the two. And he seems to be just generally more successful, not just professionally, but in general, (laughs) he's engaged to a beautiful socialite and he's well liked by people. Jeff, on the other hand, seems to have a drinking problem and be in some sort of depression. All right. Now, when they cross a mysterious footbridge and get to Brigadoon, Tommy and Jeff are very confused. Okay. In addition to the fact that this city just kind of appeared out of nowhere, okay for them it seems like the people are in some kind of time warp their clothes and customs are extremely outdated and it seems like they have some sort of secret in this little village and it turns out that they do have a secret it turns out that the town is under a spell that allows the village to appear for only one day every hundred years for the villagers only one day will have passed in that hundred years so To be clear, that means every tomorrow is actually a hundred years later, okay? And another part of the spell says that if any of the villagers leave the town, the spell will be broken and the town will disappear forever, okay? The only way an outsider can even become a member of the community is to fall in love with someone who's already a citizen of Brigadoon. And most of the the villagers consider this spell to be a blessing from God. There is at least one gentleman, Harry Beaton, played by Hugh Lang, that (laughs) considers it to be a curse. He'll never be able to go away to college like he dreamed. And there's a woman in Brigadoon that has broken his heart. And so, you know, he gets more and more bitter each day. We see it. And he even tries to leave the town to ensure the town disappears forever. This is how bitter he is. But the townsmen run after him and he accidentally gets killed, essentially. So that problem gets solved. Timmy and Jeff, the two Americans, they're struggling to believe that the miracle is real at first. It's like, what? Y'all appear every hundred years, what? But eventually they start to understand that it is real because they find clues and evidence And they start to understand that the village that they are standing in is going to disappear that night and be gone for a hundred years, meaning they would have no other opportunity to see it ever again. And it's really too bad because Tommy has fallen in love with one of the villagers immediately named Fiona Campbell, okay, played by Sid Charisse. And Fiona was pretty much planning to live her life as a single woman because she knew all of the men in Brigadoon and none of them really got her juices flowing, okay? So as you can imagine, this made meeting Tommy very bittersweet because she fell in love with him, but you know she knew that she didn't want to ask him to walk away from his entire life. So all she could do was ask him to stay until the end of the day, which she did. 
um, you know, eventually he does make though the decision on his own. He wants to make that sacrifice. He wants to stay in Brigadoon. And then Jeff, <laughs> his depressed friend, helps Tommy to kind of like take off his love goggles and really understand what he would be signing up for. Mm -hmm. That's walking away from all of your life, your family, your friends. You will never see them again. And, and, and Tommy kind of comes to his senses and Fiona understands and they just pledge their eternal love for each other. And they say goodbye and the city fades away into the mist. Gone, gone. No, they say, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Excellent reenactment. Thank you. Excellent. Tommy and Jeff go back home to New York. <laughs> And they try to get on with their normal lives, but it's hard. Tommy thinks about Fiona all the time. Everything reminds him of her. Eventually, Tommy breaks it off with his fiance and he asks Jeff to just go back to Scotland with him just so he can get some closure. He was like, I just need to go and just, I know that it's not there, but I just need to go and get some closure. Will you please go with me? Um, Jeff has no purpose in his life, so he went along. <laughs> So they fly back and they go back right to that spot in the woods and they find that footbridge to nowhere, you know, but of course the town is gone. And then all of a sudden the city starts to materialize. The village starts to material materialize and a wise old sage from the town comes to meet Tommy at the footbridge and he welcomes him to Brigadoon by saying, if you love something dearly enough, anything is possible. So Tommy is reunited with his beloved Fiona as the city fades back into the mist, not to be seen for a very, very, a very a long time. The end. <laughs> That's Brigadoon, y'all. <laughs> and, you know, I'm really excited to get your <laughs> perspectives on this one, you know, and for our, for our watchers and our listeners, y'all need to know this is, this is one from our childhood. Like our mom used to, we used to watch this as a family. Yeah. I, and, this felt, this was my first time seeing it. Really? How is that possible? Maybe we watched it when I was like two, but mm. I, I was, have never seen Brigadoon before. And that is I, so surprising. This Comedy musical horror was amazing. <laughs> Why do you call it a, so a comedy good. musical horror? Listen, it was a musical. <laughs> yes. many genres. It was a musical because there was singing and dancing. <laughs> it was a comedy because everything was laughable, right to the man trying to leave the city. So now, bitter. I watched that, I rewound that scene at least five times <laughs> because. <laughs> So angry. So angry. He raised it. I'm going to leave him. <laughs> you know, it's just but, like but, but, but you know, the, the, the thing about it is, it's like, that's why, like, I, I was trying to figure out why, you know, where I could put this movie. But what I'm saying is, this movie could have easily been about Harry Lurker trying to, Escape Brigadoon. You never get out. And, and like that, it would be like a horror movie. It'd be like a, it, it, so it would be. You know what but, I'm saying? But it wouldn't, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a great movie because all he has to do is leave. If he crossed the bridge, Brigadoon would be gone. But, but, what, but what I'm saying is that would be a plot. Like there's a guy who's in this city. He <laughs> wants to get out. And he wants to get out. Like, that's because they try to frame it almost like Harry was the only sane one in the whole. <laughs> Listen, Harry but the, was but like, the, I, I can, can never go to school. Get all he wanted was a degree. Harry couldn't go to school, y'all. And then I was, listen, y'all, Harry's girl that he liked was getting married. Like, can you imagine this? What if Harry and her name was, what is her name? Betty Jean? Something Jean. like that. Jean, Jean, yeah. If him and Jean were dating, <laughs> let's say for a year, oh. y'all. If every day was a, <laughs> I mean, but they, but they didn't. They don't experience that. They don't, <laughs> they don't experience that. 
That well, is but, time but, invested. He's like, girl, I've been dating you for a hundred years. <laughs> Met yeah. old boy, okay, and dated him for uh, 500 years. <laughs> and now <laughs> I've been dating you for 700. You dated him for 500. Oh, and now you're getting married? <laughs> but ju- but just, just the horror That's of the living horror. inside. That's what made it horror to me. Like, this, is, this is a now, horrible I, I, I mean, I, I'm saying living inside at two miles for like... Oh. Forever, it's, you know, for ch- and these are the only people. Listen, you know, like that, and and your only hope to get somebody is if you make somebody leave their whole family. Yeah, whole life, and they, in have, one and day. they would have in one to day. Be. And they got to make that decision in one day. In one day, it's horrible. And and and, yeah. and so who, whole, who 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 could possibly? possibly call this a blessing and the lore the lore around it in the town is that there was a man that loved brigadoon so much that he prayed to god that that brigadoon be protected from 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 time and be be protected from outside forces because there were some witches (laughs) in some neighboring (laughs) right there were witches in neighboring towns which, and by the way, so, Gene Kelly made a joke when he said that. He was like, yeah, we got those two, but we just use a different letter. And I was just <laughs> like, Gene. Yeah. I said that. That was is. Jeff. That was that probably was, Jeff. Uh-uh, was it, Gene, it, was Kelly, it was Gene Kelly. It was Gene Kelly that said it. Because that was the kind of one-liner that that Jeff character. Oh, he, oh, he was bringing them. <laughs> he was bringing them. But how could it possibly be called a blessing? It's like the story is some man afraid of witches coming over from the neighboring town he prays to god god protect Prigadoon and protect it specifically by only bringing it to life every hundred years for one day and the sacrifice that this man makes in exchange for god granting this prayer is that he doesn't get to be a part of Prigadoon. so he made this wish he prayed this on people and he didn't he didn't have to live in the implications of he it he didn't have to live in the implications Janelle, what was the prayer you said he should have said <laughs> he, oh yeah i was saying he should have just said please protect my town from danger because i mean or, if your or, prayer was that from, powerful or, <laughs> or keep keep the culture safe and healthy mm-hmm. and pure there are or, so or maybe, many maybe, better maybe so for, many maybe. better prayers Maybe for a wall or a fence. Maybe. <laughs> right. Something. Or oh, just say, please don't let the witches come. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, they're not super awesome. <laughs> let no one from Brigadoon awesome. die an, un- an unfair death. Listen, y'all, I text, <laughs> I text my brother and sister because I just this concept of going to sleep and every day is a hundred years. <laughs> I was like, if you are pregnant, it is the worst. I know you don't Brittany, feel it. Brittany, they don't feel it. I don't care if you don't feel it. It is knowing that you've been pregnant for a hundred years. They know it. That's not a blessing. That's not a blessing. That's not. For over, well, for if you're nine months, if, y'all, nine months is 274 days. I did the math. <laughs> y'all, if you multiply that, that is 227,400 days. Sis, that sounds horrible. That sounds now, horrible. Now I'm starting to get the horror movie thing that y'all are listen, talking about. Yeah, 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 that yeah. Listen, sounds listen. terrible. No. They don't feel it. I know that, they don't so that feel it. Make sense. I feel it as a viewer that this is ridiculous. <laughs> and you know what could have made this up? This whole movie could have been a horror movie with one little tweak. If at the end, when Tommy goes across the bridge with the old man to go and be in, be a part of Brigadoon, if the man just had like a devil tail hanging off of him exactly. or like it's devil like, ears. So it was like this whole thing is actually hell. Right. It could have been a twilight zone. Well, yeah, yeah, just, it could have been yeah, twilight you took the zone. Words on, you took the words <laughs> out of my mouth. Yes, it could have been. That would have made it so much like, oh. Instead of bring a dune, is bring a don't. <laughs> <laughs> bring a do 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 do. 
I, listen, from the beginning, this, um, it was so funny when they walked into the town and everyone was just looking at them with this, this mixture of astonishment and fear. And to the point where they wouldn't even sell him food. They sell them food and I was just like, <laughs> and I was like, well, they, he, 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 they didn't have the money. They had future money. They're they like, had this? future yeah. money, bro. Like this, it was so funny. Like to just see this all unfold. I was cracking up the whole time. Also, you all have to understand Tommy's kid, the character Tommy, he at the beginning of the movie was talking about how, listen, I've been with this fiance. I'm not really feeling her for real. I've called off the wedding twice, not their engagement, just the wedding. And so basically you can see he's unhappy. Yeah. Y'all, he meets Fiona. <laughs> this man is all of a sudden dancing on mountainsides, ready to give it all up to vanish for a hundred years every day mm. <laughs> yeah i mean honestly that's another thing I I kinda, like... that also <laughs> lends to lends to the fact of it not it, it being a whole uh it could be a a bad thing because it's almost like he was under a trance yeah you know because it was it was it was so fast and so just from the onset because like i know that we i know that we watched this but i really didn't remember this one you know, I remember fog or something, but like I didn't remember anything. And it was just hard for me to get into the feel of it because it was so it was so dark, but they were presenting everything like it was bubbly. Yeah, you know, like, like it was it, happy. Yeah, yeah, like if you explain all the elements, you all, you live one day. Every hundred years, society keeps going. You, you know, if somebody and comes in, you can in, never leave. If you, you can never leave, leave Listen, everybody dies. That's that funny. Is my, like, it's a musical comedy horror. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, how do you, with all these weird feelings, I can't get into my musical vibe. Like, yeah. like, 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 I'm not fighting it, but it's just. The subconscious thing. It's like, you know, this just feels weird. Like, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 seemed, it seemed very, like, irrational. Like, if, if that one character hadn't been there that was kind of saying, y'all, this is not a, this is a curse. If he hadn't been there, I would have felt like the whole town was under some sort of spell to make them believe that the, this, this curse was a, a miracle but like step for wives yes yes like a brainwashing was a part of it and um i the whole time i i was distracted by wanting the story to have a situation where there were more people who who didn't want to stay in brigadoon because it would have been very interesting to have that community as a part of the story grapple with that to have some people saying you know what you all why don't we just all leave together and let brigadoon go you know and maybe hey, let's, let's all you go. just made it into a suicide mission no well they don't die brigadoon dies oh i see that, well, yeah. that's the way the man said it. He said, he said, if anyone leaves, if anyone leaves, Brigadoon will cease to exist. And so it meant that the person would be able to leave. So what if they all left? That's what I would have mm. been. I would have been the one saying, y'all, let's I, all go. What if we all yeah, run yeah, across I, the bridge? I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't take one because I took it right. I can see. <laughs> no, 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 that. But see that, but then will they that, age? that brings even more questions. That brings <laughs> even more questions. Than, and, and see that so that would have been the dialogue. Yeah. That would have been the dialogue. But, Can we all but, leave? And then, and then the thing is, is that the one person he's supposed to be the antagonist, but it's like you kind of agree with everything he's saying, you know. So it's so it's it, it, it's it's like. It's almost if 
at the end there was some type of twist, it would have made the whole movie better. Yeah. yeah. If they were if they did like a Twilight Zone type twist, because it's like, oh okay, everything would have snapped in. But they more or like murdered. a miracle on 34th Street, where the whole thing is a dream and somebody wakes up like Oh, I see now the value in time passing. <laughs> yeah. See, right. Something. Because it almost Just, seemed like they were about to do that at the end whenever Jack, is his name Jack or Jim? Jeff. I heard it too. Jeff, Jeff. thank you. It was neither one. And so Jeff, when he was sitting there at the <laughs> bar and he told the bartender, um, I lost my brother in my, I lost my brother Brigadoon. And I was like, Oh, is this going to be like a dream oh, or something? Yeah, I, yeah. I thought yeah, that, I that that's what it was about to happen, yeah, but better. I was like that. Yeah, I could, I, I, that would have been better. That would have been better. Hey, hey. Hilarious. No, but what, what was his name? Uh, the guy? Harry? Harry, Harry, Harry the Beaver. one that got shot? Who wanted to leave? Yeah, what's his name again? That was it. I know. It was Harry, Harry Beaton. Beaton. Yeah, Beaton, right. Yeah, so, and then Harry gets murdered, and <laughs> <laughs> no, like, murder. No, hey, what they say, they're like, yeah, let's go hide the body. <laughs> the Listen, and bro. Like, so, so the point I'm trying to make is, is that the only sane person, like, like you don't, he's supposed to be an antagonist, but he's not really. And then he didn't say nothing wrong. And then he gets murdered. And then... They're like, let's have the body. They and that's said, it. We'll tell everyone tomorrow. I'm like, y'all keeping a secret for a hundred years. <laughs> Yo, Brittany, we're like, Brittany, no, it bothers, I know it, it, that it they bothers me it. that you talk. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep saying it because they know it's a hundred years later. The town knows it. So you're keeping a secret for a hundred years and they all... This is how secrets happen all the time in towns, all the time. It's a group of the leaders together. Oh, he beat his head on the rock. And I was like, did y'all not have guns in whatever year y'all think this is right now? I was like, this man did not hit his head on the rock. What is happening right now? And they were like, well, we don't want to mess up the wedding festivities. We'll just tell them tomorrow. I was like, what is it? What is was, happening right now? Yeah, it was like the town culture in general was very, very dysfunctional. You yeah. know, oh, it was like functional. It was like the um, you know, we the, the the you saw different experiences of women, you know, they were saying that the women outnumbered the men in the town. And so we watched, that's another thing. We watched some women day. being super aggressive just trying to get one of these <laughs> one of these outside men to stay you know and love her just because because they, they you I know, mean they, she just she just straight kissed them straight on the mouth oh, for 40 she had one day one him. day to get that whole love affair going and man she wasn't even trying to get a love affair she was skipping straight to lust let me get you up into this mountain near this hay because that's where my mama met my daddy and she woke up. <laughs> and y'all, <laughs> she was like, you're supposed to fall in love with me and um, ask me to marry you. It was like, what? Yeah. I said, yeah, over, yeah. I could see everybody in this town is a little nuts. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a little nuts. But one thing I do want to say before we, because I, y'all, I did like, the dance scene with the men and they were going back and forth doing holding their arms together during the bachelor was, party yes the dancing and the, in the bachelor party and with the, the yeah, that tapping, that the, tapping that was the, that that won't well, that that scene was good that, that was, was the good. only scene when and, and it was also kind of good how um because you're talking about with gene kelly when he when he yeah so um that was also good because it was like Gene had that kind of moment where it's like, all right, y'all want me to go ahead? I, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. And do exactly. my thing. You know? I, I am and, and that, that was kind of cool. I'm surprised to good. hear the two of you say that because I thought this movie, from a dancing perspective, I thought it was a complete waste of Gene Kelly and Sid Charisse. 
Oh no no I'm not I'm not there disagreeing was, with not that one, there but, was but, not but, one dance scene where I felt like they maximized the 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 skills the stars that they had on hand from a dancing perspective what I uh, didn't see it no, no, no. where they were bumping no. up and down on the mountain and none of them flowers fell out that basket listen I've danced <laughs> through Heather with more intricacy than they did okay <laughs> with a basket okay now one like, flower fell out i was like y'all not even getting to sharice because to me what makes a me like when the when the like let's use one of our favorites seven brides for seven brothers in those dance scenes they are doing stuff that we can't do they're showing skill and they do it in a way that's effortless and fun and emotional or um telling the story i felt like it was just under Choreograph. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing that with you, that you all are. I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I mean, you're acting. I'm not saying it's the best thing. I'm saying I. I enjoyed that. I, I'm not. I, I, yeah, I'm not saying and it, it was, was early on acting, too. It was early. Yeah, you're. You're, you're acting like I, like I said. It was, man, it was one of the best. I'm just saying, it was a scene that I enjoyed. I'm saying it was the but, best but, dance scene I've ever seen in a musical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, well, lying. I'm lying i'm lying because tomorrow it'll be 100 years from now you won't remember so anyway <laughs> y'all sid sharice for i'm sid gonna keep sharice, saying it bro sid sharice that that choreography was disrespectful i feel like they just basically said mm, you know you would have liked it if the movie wasn't so ashy <laughs> that movie was ashy I was just, I was really disappointed. In yeah, movie. I mean, I mean, the the sing, the sing, the dance, but but let, let me just say that I agree with you that the dancing was definitely just. It was not. It was not. And, and, and the singing was good because they had good singers, but the songs did. The, but the songs didn't move me. You know, like like it, it, none of the songs moved me. Like none. we we were. We we were talking a little bit, and we're not going to make this a seven brothers for seven brothers thing. But Janiyah, while we were getting ready, um, was talking about how both seven brothers for seven brothers and Brigadoon were recorded on set as opposed to being recorded on location due to budgetary constraints. But you could just tell the difference in effort when it comes to that. I mean, it's like stark, you know, no. and 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 when you're just sitting there that 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 there were no fun songs there was no nothing that moved me you know what i mean like mm -hmm. like like we, we were talking about um music man and then you know you know like the shabubi song shabubi shabubi <laughs> that girl is hard to get you know what I mean? yes. like there's these, yeah. these fun songs that get burst in and you know that you had every song was kind of the same tempo. It was, it, it, it just, they were in a yeah. horror movie. <laughs> yeah, what I mean, about, like, what about almost like being in love? So that is one of those songs that, um, you know, it, 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 I, I enjoy that song, and I enjoy Gene Kelly, you know, singing it. There's been many versions, though, you know, and I think it's the Frank Sinatra version that we probably all think of. You know, when you think of that song, almost like being in love, mm -hmm. you know, so I thought that song was good. I, and honestly, if, if I didn't know the song before the movie, I still would have thought it was a standout in terms of the songs in the movie. You know? I, 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 I thought it, I, I thought it, I thought it was good. I thought it was good in the same way. I thought that little dance number was good. Like sure. it was. It was good amongst a bunch of mediocrity. Yeah, so it, it, it really it, it, phoned so, in the music and yeah. the dance. And and it felt like that. I mean, yeah. it just really, it just really felt like that because I, you know, I actually started to kind of for a second, I almost question like, is my love of musicals kind of warped by, you know, something? Is it just because but then I'm like, no, nah. they because I'm gonna tell you when we watch these other ones, like I genuinely still enjoy them. You know, like I genuinely enjoy them, and I feel like if I never saw a musical and somebody showed me My Fair Lady today, I think I would still enjoy it. But I'm just saying, this one, mm. 
Mm-mm. I was surprised it was nominated for anything. Yeah, it, 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 just, it, it, it wasn't. Just, it wasn't acting and story. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna tell writing. you right now. I don't know. Let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't know who was supposed to come on. Maybe they were sick that day. Maybe coronavirus also happened in 1954, so they couldn't make it in to teach them how to speak in a Scotland in a Scottish. Oh, Queenie, I'm so glad you brought that. Let me that tell up. you something. I just want oh, to apologize so to the whole country of Scotland. All of so y'all. The, the fact that we did you like that here in the America, they didn't even really try. I mean, I was, it was, it was because you're saying a and last and lad that does not. Mr. Scottish. No, it does she not. Said, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I said, girl, is you Maria from West Side Story? What is going on? It was not not that she did a top notch job. No, nobody. No one, listen, listen, nobody <laughs> did the accent well. Like, it, no, the, nobody. The fir- first of all, I'm pretty, I almost forgot about that. I'm so, and I'm so glad you brought it up because that was another thing that that made it hard to get into the movie because the accents were really bad and they're bad too like i heard have you all ever seen braveheart no mm. i, I think we should like do you that know one. that isn't that the one with uh, mel gibson yeah we should that do the that one, one where his face is painted wait am i getting at, the, at one point no yes yes Bra- braveheart but yeah so but, but, but what, I, what I'm saying is, yeah, so it takes place in Scotland. And okay, so okay. what I'm saying is, is me listening to it, I thought those accents were great, right? But people who are from Scotland say that his accents are not good. You understand? Yeah. Just like, just like I thought Don Cheadle's accent in Ocean's Eleven, I thought it was good. But people from England says he sounds... Ridiculous, you know what Ridiculous. I mean? So, 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 what I'm saying is, is even to me, it sounded ridiculous. So, yeah, I, I exactly, I, I, I can't imagine what it would sound like to someone who's horrible. I just really feel that. like who made this movie was it MGM? Yeah. MGM, Yo, you owe they, Scotland an apology. Big. Time. Well, I'm saying that they should have just look. You're you're dealing you're dealing with the magical. You don't even like. It could have still been in Scotland and just nobody have accents. Nobody. And n- which, none of us would have been people like... people do? It, you know. No, nobody would have been like, but they're in Scotland, though. Right. It's like, no, you're talking we about would have said it. We would have said it, but we would have immediately forgiven it. Right. Like, yeah. all right. We appreciate you for not even trying. Right. But when they, when some of these characters at one point sounded English... <laughs> In the next point, they sounded like they were from in the, the same United States. Sentence. In the same sentence. In the same and in the sentence. last part, they sounded like they were Spanish. I said, like they were doing a poor Spanish imitation. I said, what is happening right now? And oh, and when I was just a loss. <laughs> go away. <laughs> and I, clearly, y'all were tight on budget. You couldn't go to, to Scotland to film. I see. I see. Right. But you surely you some Scottish you extras. You could have hired one person from scotland to come in and say no that ain't it that ain't it what is it called a linguist yes oh a linguist yeah. you need a linguist. Or, or, or just switch the whole like just make it take place in america totally just, right. it's okay yeah we just make woods. it take place we in got america. plenty of woods man you know. a city in like north dakota one of the totally. places we forget is a state that it just disappears <laughs> totally. that's what i'm saying that's what I'm saying. So I, so there, I mean, but there's there's so many decisions that could have been made on the second day of filming. Like, yeah, uh, I know we said we were going to do these taxes, but this ain't working. No, so let's, let's just give up. No one wants to do something. <laughs> no but I'm a, one and then, and then I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you when somebody starts talking in one accent and singing in another, that is just. Absurd to be like it well, is ridiculous. And bro, can I just say I'm happy you brought us back to the music though because I do have a factoid. I have a trivia. All right. I have a trivia. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't ready. Let's go. Well, Sid Charisse is 
probably one of the best dancers ever. Okay. Mm-hmm. You cannot tell that from watching Brigadoon, but she is. She did well. I mean, there's there's moments where you could see. Yes. You could see you the missed like, opportunity. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like you could see, like when she, um, when they were dancing, where she was acting dead, which yes. that's a whole. No, that I, more I keep thinking about, they had a scene where she was, I, I, what was she saying? Like she would just die or just, I, I can't remember, but oh, it was so bizarre. No. It was so bizarre. And he was dancing with her like she was dead. But in that scene, she did like a standing like split type deal. And you could say, like, man, I bet you could really. Exactly. You know, feel it. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, well, y'all, the, the, the trivia point is that her vocals were dubbed. Her singing vocals were dubbed oh. by Carol Richards. So she's a great dancer. I guess you can't have it all sometimes <laughs> and have it all but you know who does have it all who did have it all gene kelly did he get to show I was just it all about in to this say movie that. he did not Natter. well I, I i think i think you should t- i think you should talk about why i think you should talk about why sis. like you told us no i'm saying you said that <laughs> You said no. You the one who let's said. Pre- let's pretend we were- I don't remember what you're talking about, and then you say it. <laughs> I want to hear your perspective. <laughs> you were. Why you were you saying with the people. <laughs> you were saying that I, I thought you said that, um, because it was on set as opposed to being on uh, location. That was one of the reasons that Gene Kelly wasn't all the way into it. Can't correct me if I'm wrong. Or were right. you talking about? We did project? read that. We did read that. But that that particular qu- quote that we were reading, I think that was about the director. The director. The director. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Yep. Okay. But, okay, but in it. general, maybe you could tell that that was a drawing in the background. I was like that 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 uh range that um trail looks like it's going up into the air, like it's a drawing. I was like, you know what? And all the good people were on Seven Brass for Seven Brothers set. This was all the replacements. But it just goes to show, like, um, you know, how how important it is for how leadership sets the tone for culture in a team. You know, it's like if you are a scattered leader, your team is going to be scattered. That's true. If That's you true. are um, phoning it in from a leadership level, your team is going to phone it in. You know, speed of leader, speed of the pack. Totally. So that's what mm-hmm. we saw here. We saw the disappointment and not getting the budget he wanted play out in every single piece of this. I Man. mean, I, I just, I, I was so, so stunned at the missed opportunities with, with Sid Charisse and Gene Kelly. I just, mm-hmm. I just couldn't believe it because that is one of those things where it's like, if you don't have nothing else in this movie, y'all could have had that. Y'all could have maxed mm-hmm. out these two superstars. That you now, have. I do want to say that there were two things I did take away from this musical comedy horror. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that is one. When Tommy said, I find I found that sometimes the things you believe in become, he said this at the end when he convinced Jack, that's his name, right? Is it Jack? Jack to come back Jeff. to Scott, Jeff to come back with him okay we'll just call him the drunk from this point on he, he was convinced the drunk he was he was funny to me he, he was, was funny. hilarious he was funny he convinced him to come back with him and he they were standing there and of course brigadoon was not there and he made a statement and this is right before brigadoon appeared um i found that sometimes the things you believe in become more real to you than all the things you can explain away or understand and it made me just really think about where mm. I am currently. My brain, while I am doing every, I am living in the present and working on that, I am very clear that I am very focused on the future in terms of manifesting what I want and doing things to let God, the universe know that I am dead serious about the things that I want. Mm. Um, And so that rang true to me when it was like, yeah, sometimes the things you believe in become more real. If it is what you want, 
then you go after it and you go after it until you can't go after it anymore. Mm -hmm. And so um, while you're not going to be perfect in that, you should always still at least continue to give it your all as much as you can Mm. and believe in that thing. And the other thing was um, Mm. when he did, when he was about to cross over the bridge and the guru or whoever he was that knew the town was able to explain why this town disappears for a hundred years. Um, he was, he, school, he was the leader of the school, the leader of the school. Mm-hmm. He said to him, he was like, you know, you woke me up and he was like, but I thought you all don't come back. And that's when he makes that statement that Janiah said earlier, if you love someone enough, anything is possible. And I was just like, wow. Then I was like, Ooh, That means to me, if I love myself enough, anything is possible. Mm. And so just thinking that there are just a couple things. Listen, a broken clock is right Mm -hmm. twice a day. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. So even in this music, musical horror comedy, uh, there were a couple of things that I was able to pull out. Yeah. Even though I, again laughed as if I was watching a stand-up comedy when that man Harry ran outside of that wedding and said I'm leaving Brigadoon and I'm going all of us will disappear and I was just like no way you know and it's a you're classic. you're a tell as old as time <laughs> because there's a bunch of people out here shooting up schools blowing up buildings that look just like you Harry you're having a bad day because your girlfriend's getting married off the one that you like. Now you think we all got it. <laughs> you know what, Harry? Don't nobody have time for your shenanigans. That's it's what I'm saying. Like it was, it was. Cry yourself in the creek. <laughs> the only one who was making sense was a drunk who ended up murdering somebody. That's one thing you left out of it. It was Jeffrey's. But I'm just saying that was. The, the the one dude from the town who's making sense get killed. And then and then honestly, the one who's supposed to be the protagonist, you know, Tommy, I mean, when you really think about what he did, he left his whole family and he left his fiance. And, and he was cheating on his fiance. Brittany mentioned it earlier. The fact that he even canoodled no. with Sid Therese, Sid's I character, mean, Fiona. He said. Jeff, so, Jack, the drunk said to him, I thought we Jeff. were going hunting. He said, I am. He said, I am. I was like, See, that you was haven't broke love. up with her? That's before love even came into it. That was you still were the just lust being phase. Fast. Mm. You thought she was cute. And at first he thought she was the one getting married that day. So he was like, as soon as he found out that she wasn't, oh, it was on a pop. Yeah. Now, oh, now that's something else we need to pull out, okay, with his cheating tail. Gene, I'm not letting you off the hook. Okay, Tommy. He said to her, um, <laughs> he was like, she said, well, um, you were about to settle. You're about to settle. Wait, you've never, I thought that you would be settled down. Or You know, you didn't strike me for the settling <laughs> down type. That's what she said. And he said, um, oh, I said getting married, not settling down. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, that makes so much sense now of the many shenanigans that happened on the planet. <laughs> that I didn't know there was a difference until this musical hit me to the game. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, let's talk a little bit more about this care, some of these characters, you know. Mm-hmm. And Fiona is interesting to me. So the, when we first meet Fiona, she is her opening song is about the fact that she hasn't found love and she's fine with it. You know, she's basically saying like, I can't live to look for love because I haven't found it and I'm not going to settle. And I'd rather just be on my own individual journey as opposed to just coupling for the sake of coupling. And so now, of course, a more modern take on that would be that she wouldn't be defining herself as in a relationship or not in a relationship. She would just be saying, I'm fine with who I am. But still, you meet her at the top and you have a lot of respect for her because she's just living in her reality, you know? But as the movie starts to go on, 
I I feel like her character starts to fall apart for me because she is so level-headed and grounded. She's level-headed enough to say that she doesn't want to ask Tommy to stay more than a day, but she isn't level-headed enough to name that this is a curse that they're living in and not a miracle, mm. you know? And so her, she was supposed to be like this really level-headed, rational, you know, really grown up and mature lady. And she just was living in the confusion of the miracle, you know? And that's when I started wanting, honestly, the movie to be a parody of some sort. Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe yeah. they're making fun of something. If they yeah. were making fun of something, um, then I could, I could have appreciated the story more and the way yeah. some of the characters didn't develop I don't want to say developed didn't develop you know right. um, and the townsfolk I mean they just made them seem just you know blindly in bliss you know they just yeah. didn't seem like they were having a depth of life and a depth of experience even in the village it was right. just so mm. shallow the way the characters were, yeah. were, were crashing. And, 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 and like, like we keep saying, it would have made sense if it was all if it was all a dream. Thing, or if it was all a dream or something. But no, this, this but so anyway, I, I mean I I really don't have much to say other than that. Well, we've covered pretty much all the categories. Yeah. We did the music, we did the characters, the yeah. act. So the acting, again, it's like Gene Kelly, Sid Charisse. I mean, the actors were good. I thought Jeff, he, I found his, I thought he was- He was truly, funny. Truly funny. He was enjoyable to watch. Matt yeah. Corny, yeah. funny. I thought he was funny. He had, he had great one-liners that if he as an actor had not delivered them so well, they wouldn't have been as funny. Listen, and he, he had a genius that. idea at the bar when he ordered uh, one drink and two waters and he took these ashtrays and made it like two people were sitting beside him on either side so no one would sit beside him. <laughs> I said, yes, this is genius. Um, also, he had me cracking up because he was just like, um, yeah, your your fiance doesn't like your friend because who would? No fiance is like their, their man's best friend. <laughs> and it just made me kind of laugh because I was like, but you're the reason why she still has him. And it's funny because there are a lot of elements that could have made it. Like, what if it was a curse instead of a, like, what if they were like, we're cursed? But, you know, somebody cursed us and we can't leave. We can't leave. And, and, we're making the and best it, of it. Yeah. And you know what I mean? That would like, have made it so much better. Yeah, that would have made it, made it make more sense. It like, with so the, much better. Yeah, you know, um, and then, you know, the one person who's trying to leave, he's like, I'd just rather not exist, you know, but there, you know, you can see the, that would have made it better, but it's just Definitely. like. It would have been much better. It would have been much yeah. better because him leaving, it almost would have been an act of like, you know what? We, somebody's got to have the courage to set us free from That's this. right. It's That's better right. to not be bound by this than to be in this. And then That's maybe right. the person walks out and then they don't vanish. Like they stop vanishing. Like they don't disappear. Like it breaks the curse. Like the, the Ooh, town still stays like. Yeah, that would be good. Like, and that would be like, good. All you need well, was hold up. We've been right, 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 right. every day for 100 years. What? Like and it was for the past two days, right? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah, that would that would have been what? cool. Like, like all you needed to break the curse was the courage. To walk to out, yeah. See, yeah. Now, that yeah. would have been. That would have been. That would have been good. That would have turned into good. a Black Mirror episode. That's a, <laughs> that would have been good. That part. That would have yeah, been, so been good. But yeah. that would have been good. So I'm saying that's the sad thing about it is that there's the elements are there. They're just yes. in the wrong places. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's just weird. It's but weird. I can see. I can see the concept of, of this disappearing city. Somebody interacting with it, you know. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, but you know, because because it sounds like the plot of a horror movie, like 
you got these women who try to make you stay. You know, like, like it's just so right. like, weird. It's just you know what so I mean? Weird. But anyway, yeah. I, 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 even I, I, the way, yeah. the way that they revere the man who made the prayer. It's like, hey, and he wasn't even there. He and that wasn't was, even ooh, there. What if, what if he was the witch that totally. was actually in disguise? You know, yes. cursing him. Yes. I mean, there's a but there's, there's so much he stuff you can been. do. Make it these are flow minor and make changes it make sense. to to yes. the to the to the story to the to the language to the narrative yeah. that could have made what happened make much more sense. That's right. Yes. I mean, so all right. That's copywritten yeah. by the right perspective. If anybody tries to write that, well, bring, it, bring it don't and bring it do you do. Don't don't do it. <laughs> it's and bring it, it don't you do it. <laughs> Okay. By the way, Janelle, I tried to watch Make a Deal, but it's only on Apple. There's a parody um, with Keegan Michael Key and and Cecily Strong, and they are. Um, re- it's called Shm- this that is Schmigadoon, and they're basically making fun of musicals in general, but they do it in a way that mocks them, but also honors them. Honors them, and yeah. so you know, it's one of those. Um, those kinds of parodies where they're they're mocking so many different musicals. Like, uh, so Brigadoon is one, obviously, that they mock in there. Right. But they hit they hit a lot of our favorites, y'all. Where you see tropes from our some of our favorites in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna still figure out a way to watch it. I'm just, I hate that it's only I'm, on. I'm now. all I'm all Android. I, I'm in the Android ecosystem. Exactly. Well, well, you know the Right Perspective podcast streams on Apple Podcasts, and so we do. I mean, that's a, good. We, we do have an Apple login for our <laughs> for the Right Perspective podcast. Oh, well, well te- text it to me, and I'll <laughs> log in. Too. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. <laughs> Go ahead and well, check. Let's, uh, All right, I'll let's tell you vote. what else is going down. Voting. Voting. Let's get it. Do it, bro. Yeah, I I, I cannot give this my uh my bridge. And I was I was interested to watch because I it's one of the few musicals that I wanted to watch that I I, I wasn't familiar with before. And so, but yeah, it's just the story, just the acting, the dancing just never coalesced into something that will be a classic for my opinion. Well, I got to tell you, the the I I'm, I think I'm pretty liberal with my votes. I try to I try to I I I've had several times where I've talked myself into giving into the right. Y'all, there's no redemption for this. I cuz I I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking I, for it, I, looking hither, looking hither. Let me say one more thing cuz in addition the uh, audience score is lower than the critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm just saying when you say and that. And the movie lost money when it first came out. That was another factor. It yeah. actually lost money, you know? That so, makes so much sense. You know, I, um, the, to me, the, the So you always part, try to find one. You try I to find one. I do, I <laughs> do. The worst I part of it that. for me is that it's making me nervous now about revisiting some of the movies that I loved when we okay. were young. I have been charging into our musical revisiting with yeah. so much confidence that the, the that the vast majority were going to hold up, and they have for the most they part. Have. But this movie was so not great. But I was just like, oh man. I feel you. I feel you. I'm like, I'm like, was South Pacific even good? Like, I'm starting to question everything. It's just my foundation. I feel I feel like I'm lost in the mist now. Well, that's more exciting. That's more exciting. Every time we watch a movie, we're going into the unknown. So that's more exciting. So so this so Brigadoon, no, you do not get (laughs) my bridge. You know. Listen, I <laughs> loved this movie for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> but that works sometimes. It does. Listen, that, I, that works sometimes. That'll was, create a cult following for decades. It before, will. I was cracking up at things that I should not have been cracking up at. I was like, this movie is serious. And y'all, I'm telling you, when we get off here, I may go watch again that scene where that man turns around and says, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to mend the job. He's so bad. Sir, why are you trying to kill all of us on the one? Oh, no, just hard. don't do it. It's your, it's your boo that's don't doing it. Don't stand on like, the mountaintop and announce, I'm going to kill us all. Just go do just, it. Just go do don't it. Talk no about it. Be on. about it. All I'm saying is, and you could have done it at night because everybody's going to bed. So then you could have just been like, well, like, like I'm listen, sleeping and just ran that's, across that's, the bridge. Anyway. That's just, that's just how people, people do the same thing when they delete their social media. It's the same thing. <laughs> I Goodbye, am I leaving Twitter. <laughs> but at any rate, I so I love this movie for all the wrong reasons. But it 100% bigger. don't get my bridge, honey. Uh, this is not a classic. I would not be showing this to my kids. The only reason they'll yeah. really watch it is if our mother makes them watch it. And that will be it. Because it just wasn't good. Like the whole premise of it, like normally I can find some things that are, which I did, you know, I gave you my redeemable qualities because I was like, mm, nuggets, yes. <laughs> but these were like, you know, McDonald's nuggets. They weren't like Chick-fil-A nuggets. And so mm-hmm. anyway, they were, they were so, you know, they'll get it there. They were like McDonald's nuggets with that delicious honey mustard dipping sauce they have. That's what it was. It wasn't Chick-fil-A that stands on their own with no sauce. Okay. So at any rate, I still love you, Gene Kelly. You know, you the best. Always. R.I.P. Always. Um, but <laughs> this Sisheries, I don't know if she's gone. I'm assuming. Listen, top notch, okay? You all are amazing. But uh, yeah, this movie, the it's like the writing wasn't good. It's like the actors and actresses just didn't do well. And then just the fact that they were doing these horrible horrible accents that would go in and out and they were doing accents from seven different countries in one sentence i said i can't i can't do this so i can't totally. so it was so, so yeah it's hard and no I, bridge no bridge and actually there was a bridge but guess what it fell <laughs> or it disappeared it evaporated it disappeared. into the mist it disappeared and I, now i can't get my bridge for 100 years I'm sorry, sorry. can't get it <laughs> Listen, so y'all, that is zero bridges. Brigadoon is not a classic Man. from the right perspective. How long has it been since we've had all all of us? I don't think we have, have we ever have we ever I think okay. it's happened like one time. We, yeah, but that would be interesting to know how often we like we we get to certain ratios. But I'm surprised you know, I'm, I'm surprised zero. you don't have that. I'm surprised you don't have that. Right. Story. You're so right. There's a, oh my God, something in my, there's something, there's a column missing in my chart. Oh Lord, she's going to have a percentage now <gasps> oh the next my time. Gosh. Oh, you I'm better believe it. I'm looking forward to you having a percentage you next time. You better believe it. Oh <laughs> because man. Because yeah. you better do it now before we get to, you know, into hundreds of episodes. <laughs> yeah, totally. totally. It's going to be so awesome. So you can do it now. It's only two seasons. You can do yes. it. Yes. <laughs> Yo. Y'all, this was a we surprise. This was a surprising that. disappointment. Yeah, but it me, was surprising. a disappointment. That's right. Well, I wasn't thank disappointed. You all for... I was cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for joining us for this podcast. Uh, obviously, we do not recommend you watch this movie. But <laughs> we <laughs> don't... <laughs> we're not, not with all this good content out here. Don't you dare. Um, we do recommend Schmickadoon. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. All right, Thank mom. you, bro. Love you. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye. 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 <laughs>